Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my Powerbox videos. In this video we're going to be looking at how to capture an image or how to, how to store an image for your model in the transmitter. So let's have a quick look at this. It's only going to be a short video. Let's go into our model selection screen which is indicated by this icon here. And here we are. So these models on the left hand side are in a folder called Other. Um, you can add multiple folders. Um, these are just some of my test test programs that I use. Um, I've got a couple of other folders as well with my normal aircraft and that. But this will suffice for this particular example. So I've got three models in here. I've got, a, I think I was playing around with an afterburner throttle type mix thing. Uh, Powerbox Core is just, just the name I came up with. And obviously a test test program. None of these uh, models have an image associated with them because if it did, the image will actually appear here. So, how do we import an image in? Well, number one, we need the correct size image. So, the system supports an image size of 215 by 100 pixels. So, that's 215 pixels across by 100 pixels on the vertical axis. So, if you've got an image on your PC that you want to bring into the core or your Atom, you have to resize it and make sure it's 215 by 100 pixels. And it, you've got to make sure it's a JPEG as well. Once you've done that, you need to copy it onto a USB stick and just have it in the root directory. It will not work if you have the JPEG situated in a subdirectory on the USB stick. It must be in the root directory. And then all you need to do is make sure you have the appropriate model loaded. So in this particular case, We've got the Powerbox core model actually loaded in the transmitter. All you need to do is click on the image um, button here. So let's try that. And you'll notice it's automatically gone to the USB media and um, you just need to select it over here on the left hand side. And I've got a USB stick plugged into my core at the moment. And I've got a couple of JPEGs in there. Um, I've got some existing models on this particular USB stick, uh, but let's pick one. So let's pick test and click on the little arrow. And there you go. That's all you need to do. Um, that's that test X image or test X JPEG. Um, obviously I can change it. Let's try it again. Let's pick another one here. Let's try Porsche. Click on the green arrow. And there you go, nice picture of 911. Um, let's try again. What else have we got here? Uh, there's my Fokker Wolf, which I use this image in one of my other, my actual Fokker Wolf model. There you go. So yeah, so it's easy as that. Um, one other thing to be aware of, this model time here, you notice it's set to 14 hours, 11 minutes. Um, we can reset it. So if I just long hold on the um, little icon there, it asks us, do you want to reset it? I can reset it because this is only a test model anyway. It'll stay zero, zero forever until I turn on receiver. So this model time only increments when the model's actually switched on. So that's a handy feature, especially if you spend a lot of time uh, programming things. The timer does not count up if, if, if it's not bound to a model. Um, what else can I say? Oh, I can talk about the export function as well. So if you want to um, export the model to um, the USB stick, all you need to do is press that once. Simple as that. If I want to export, say, this model, just select it, hit export. Model successfully, successfully exported. So just to make sure that I'm not uh, telling fibs, Let's have a look with File Manager. Let's navigate to my USB stick. And you'll notice in here there's the JPEGs that we were just playing around with. But there's also another folder in here called Core now. Let's have a look in there. You'll notice there's a model subfolder. And then there's another subfolder. And they're the two models I exported to the USB stick. So now can I just unplug the USB stick um, and then give those files to my friends or whoever or save them on my PC etc etc. 
there you go. Um, I think that'll do as far as the uh, model selection screen is concerned. Thanks for watching.